Hi all, welcome back to the SQ channel. Please subscribe, like and share this channel. Thank you for viewing this channel. Today we will take a look at an inspiring quote from APJ Abdul Kalam. Man needs his difficulties because they are necessary to enjoy success. If a country is to be corruption-free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are the father, the mother and the teacher. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity, we should not distort it. Creativity is the key to success in the future, and primary education is where teachers can bring creativity in children at that level. The purpose of education is to make good human beings with skill and expertise. Enlightened human beings can be created by teachers. Great teachers emanate out of knowledge, passion and compassion. Teaching is a very noble profession that shapes the character, caliber, and future of an individual. If the people remember me as a good teacher, that will be the biggest honor for me. A teacher should have a creative mind. I firmly believe that unless one has tasted the bitter pill of failure, one cannot aspire enough for success. Science is global. Einstein's equation, E equals MC2, has to reach everywhere. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity, we should not distort it. Science does not differentiate between multiple races. For success of any mission, it is necessary to have creative leadership. Creative leadership is vital for government, non-governmental organizations as well as for industries. Those who cannot work with their hearts achieve but a hollow, half-hearted success that breeds bitterness all around. I was a disadvantaged child from a non-educated family, yet I had the advantage of being in the company of great teachers. English is necessary as at present original works of science are in English. I believe that in two decades times original works of science will start coming out in our languages. Then we can move over like the Japanese. Science has revealed that the human body is made up of millions and millions of atoms. For example, I am made up of 5.8 by 1027 atoms. Tell me, why is the media here so negative? Why are we in India so embarrassed to recognize our own strengths, our achievements? We are such a great nation. We have so many amazing success stories but we refuse to acknowledge them. Why?
My 2020 vision for India is to transform it into a developed nation. That cannot be abstract, it is a lifeline. In India we only read about death, sickness, terrorism, crime. Unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. In this world, fear has no place. Only strength respects strength. We will be remembered only if we give to our younger generation a prosperous and safe India, resulting out of economic prosperity coupled with civilizational heritage. There is not enough funding for basic sciences in India. We have to invest in a big way, and I am pushing that idea. Today, India consumes about 682 watts per capita, far lesser than developed nations. As India develops, it will definitely require a lot more energy. India can live without nuclear weapons. That's our dream, and it should be the dream of the US also. When I took over as president, I studied the constitution, and the more I studied it, the more I realized that it does not prevent the president of India from giving the nation a vision. So when I went and presented this vision in parliament and in legislative assemblies, everyone welcomed it, irrespective of party affiliations. For 2,500 years, India has never invaded anybody. India should walk on her own shadow, we must have our own development model. India has to be transformed into a developed nation, a prosperous nation and a healthy nation, with a value system. I was in high school when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru unfurled India's flag in New Delhi. All the scientists and technologists should work in appropriate region, specifically the rural technologies, to transform Indian rural sector. Today, India is a nuclear weapon state. India's trade deficit is because of excessive import over exports. <laughs>